Near Montanagna in the Veneto region of northern Italy, traditional millet cultivation has made its way among larger plantations of wheat and maize. These cereals make it possible to produce food suitable for people who are gluten intolerant. The owner of one of these farms is one of the beneficiaries of the European Re-Cereal Project to reintroduce the cultivation of oats, millet and buckwheat in the regions around the Italian and Austrian Alps. Finally, five years ago, we converted the entire farm to organic production methods and decided to convert the land for minor crops such as millet, which is well suited to this method of cultivation. The ReCereal initiative not only seeks to boost the biodiversity by reintroducing traditional crops, but it is also a scientific project. The company, Dr. Scheer, is Europe's leading producer of gluten-free foods and has its research and development centre in Trieste. For more than two years, the firm has been analysing the genetic, agronomic and nutritional properties of 10 different varieties of buckwheat and 12 other varieties of millet. Millet in particular is a crop that responds very well, even under stressful conditions. This year, not only in Italy, but all over Europe, there has been a great heat wave leading to a drought. And unfortunately, it is not just a problem for this year alone. Set up six years ago, the total budget for re-cereal is over 1.3 million euros, of which almost 1 million comes from the European cohesion policy. The initiative is a cross-border cooperation project between Italy and Austria. Institutions as well as public and private entities are involved in the project to optimise cultivation methods. New technologies are also being developed to manufacture flowers from buckwheat, millet and oats, with special characteristics to promote their use in the production of gluten-free foods and other traditional foods. Of these varieties, we chose those that had very important characteristics, be it agronomic, technological, nutritional or sensory level. And we are pursuing this project of hybridising these varieties to try to have even better varieties in the future. 